Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at writing a very basic XML document. Really the whole point behind this video is for you to sit down, get your feet wet, and just write a very basic XML document so you can do a number of things, one of which is just understand how easy XML can be to write and just to get a little tiny bit of experience uh, with writing XML under your belt and help you gain a little bit of confidence and maybe get out there and start writing some of your own XML files and really discovering the true power and value of using XML in your projects. Now before we get started writing this XML file, I just want to take a quick look at some of the advantages of XML. Now XML is typically used for organizing data. So the number one reason we're going to be using XML is to organize data on the web or for use on the web. And it's very easy to create, structure, and maintain your XML files. So that's, those are all big pluses. And XML is a great way to just package up your data. And once you have it packaged up in XML, you can use it all over the web. It is used heavily in RSS sites. Uh, it can be used with PHP, it can be used with Flash, uh, used with Ajax, uh, so it's you know used all over the place. It is very versatile, it's very easy to write and maintain as I mentioned a moment ago. So it makes it a very attractive choice for web developers when it comes to organizing data and um, you know using it in some small projects and even some larger projects. So XML is a great thing to learn. And another very cool thing about XML is the fact that really there are no tags to memorize. You create all of your own tags. Now that might not mean anything to you right now. I know certainly when I first heard you know somebody talking about XML and they're saying you know it's great because you can you know just you don't need to memorize any tags. You use your own tags. It really meant virtually nothing to me. I just thought wow, use my own tags, great. Well, you know, it's cool because you essentially can set up your own system of organizing data that is still compatible with all these other languages. So in essence, you can create a, a method of organizing your data almost as if you were just organizing your data on your hard drive, just a way that you feel comfortable with organizing your data, yet it is still compatible. You can go out, you can use it in Flash, like I mentioned before, you can use it with PHP, you can use it with all kinds of different scripting languages all across the web. You can share these files with people. They can download them or they can reference these files using you know, scripting languages and all of it is compatible through XML. So it's really, really great. Now, there are all kinds of uh, other technologies associated with XML. We're not going to get into any of that stuff. This is simply a quick beginner course. Let's write an XML file. Let's get this thing done. Let's do it for once and for all. And one other thing I want to point out about XML is it is a lot like HTML and XHTML as far as the way you're going to have opening tags and closing tags, you can have self-contained tags, all kinds of things like that. So if you're familiar with HTML, you're going to find yourself feeling pretty comfortable with XML. Now you can create an XML document using a whole a wide variety of different editors. You can use anything from a simple text editor like Notepad or uh, BB Edit, I believe is what it's called for the Mac. Or you can go all the way up to just strict XML editors, but you can also use programs such as Adobe Go Live and Adobe Dreamweaver. I prefer Adobe Dreamweaver since that happens to be my program of choice for the majority of my web developing. So that's what we're going to be using today is Adobe Dreamweaver to write an XML file. So let's get started. I'm going to hop right over here to Dreamweaver and the first thing obviously we want to do is just go file new create a new document we're going to create a blank page and we're going to choose XML from the page type here notice there are no layouts there's not even a preview it's just essentially a blank document we're gonna hit create now you will notice that here on line one we have this little thing that's basically saying this is the XML version we're using and the encoding we really don't need to be too concerned with that. That is just something that Dreamweaver is doing for us. So we're going to hit enter return a couple times and we're going to begin coding. I'm just going to basically code uh, or organize the data of six people. Six people that I know. Three of them I work with. Three of them I know around my house. 
So I'm going to code this list and we're going to you know, just basically include data about these people. Obviously, some of the data such as phone numbers and addresses is going to be fake, but we're going to be organizing sort of this list. So the first thing I want to do is place them all under the main group people. I'm going to call it people. I was thinking friends, but I think I'm just going to call them people. Okay, so I would say that open angle bracket people, closed angle bracket, just as if you would say open HTML, closed HTML. You have to have one big, you know, open and closing package essentially to pack your data inside of. And then I'm going to do an open bracket slash, and it's going to close out my people tag. So I've just created my own tag called people. You can see there's the opening tag, there's the closing tag. Let's come inside of this, hit enter, return a couple times, and I'm going to further subdivide. I'm going to hit the tab key to indent, and I'm going to name this tag work. Enter, return a couple times, and I'm going to close out my work tag. So the three people I know from work are going to be in here. And I'm going to hit enter, return once. And this one I'm going to call home. Open. And here's the closing home tag. So the people the people I know, okay, and then we break that down to people I know from work and people I know from around home. So now we can actually start talking about the individual people. So the first person I'm going to talk about is a fella by the name of George. And there's the George tag, and we close the George tag. Okay, so we have created the George tag, and basically all we need to do is come in here and now start adding information about this particular entry. So I'm actually going to come in between these tags, hit enter, return a couple times to open it up, and inside of here I'm going to hit tab again to indent further. The first thing we're going to talk about, uh, or the first bit of data, we're going to put an address. So we're going to say address open the address tag and I'm going to type an address say 123 anywhere street and then I'm going to close this so I'm just going to say street without a period and then I'm going to place that closing address tag. So there we go, we've just created an address tag. Now all these tags, you, you are probably 100% certain these are not built in XML tags. We're just creating these as we go. So now I'm going to create another tag here. This is going to be car type and uh, he has no car, so we're going to say no car, and we're going to close that car type tag, and we're going to create another tag called phone. This will be for the phone number, and we're going to say the phone number is 1-800. Actually, I'm going to leave it all numbers, 1-800-111-1111, and then close off the phone tag. I'm going to create another tag called favorite food, and I'm going to come back to this tag in a moment. Before we fill out the favorite food tag, we're going to add some attributes to the George tag. Now, you add attributes up here after your tag name, but before you actually close off that tag name. So between the word George and the actual angle bracket here, I'm going to hit space. And the first attribute I'm going to say is height. So it's an attribute. We're going to say height equals open and close parenthesis. Slide over to, so you're typing inside of the parentheses. We're going to say 5 space 11. And we're going to hit space again. Now we're going to say weight. Nope, wait, try to spell that properly. Wait equals open and close parentheses. Again, slide back over so you're inside the parentheses. We're going to say 320 and then space hair color equals open and close parentheses, slide back over, and we're going to say no hair. Now, back down to fave food, we are going to say anything that is edible. That would be his favorite food as probably made clear by his weight. So now that we have his profile or his block of data done, I can basically duplicate all this data inside of here and begin creating a, another tag. And this one's going to be the Paul tag. There we go. I'm going to come inside of this. I'm going to hit tab once and I'm going to copy all of this, the address, the car type, the phone, and the favorite food. I'm going to paste that inside of there. Address, I'm going to, we'll just change to 124 Anywhere Street. The car type here, we will say green trailblazer and the phone number we will just throw a two in there somewhere and then the favorite food we will say is pizza so what I'm going to do now is well I'm gonna add his attributes real quick again height equals five eight weight equals 180 oh, no comma Hair color, I actually do not remember what color hair he has, so I'm just going to say brown. And now I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to finish filling this out using this same exact technique and we will take a look at the basically finished XML document in just a moment. Okay, so here is the finished XML document. You can see we have 
this chunk of data for this particular person, this chunk of data for this particular person, this chunk of data for this particular person, this chunk of data here, and so on and so forth, all the way down to the last little guy here. And basically, this data is all structured so we can come in here and we can specify maybe to grab everything within the people tag or maybe just within the people tag only grab the stuff within the work tag or maybe only grab the attributes of the George tag within the work tag or maybe only grab his address from that work tag within the people tag. So, I mean, the amount of stuff you can do with XML is really crazy, or you can just simply display all this data. Matter of fact, I can just click on this globe here and just hit preview in Firefox to bring this up in Firefox. And it's going to ask me to save the changes, which I'm going to do. Yes. And I'm going to hit site root, and I'm just going to name it as, or I'm just going to name the document, excuse me, people. Dot .xml, hit OK, and uh, Firefox will pop up here. Make this a bit smaller here. And OK, here we go. So we can see that we just have this, you know, the raw XML as displayed in a browser. You know, we can simply see people work, and then George Paul Sam, and then here under home, we can see we have, we have all the list of everything that we just did, all of those attributes, all of the further bits of data after that. So that is how you write a simple XML document. It really is not difficult at all, and we're going to be using it, you know, or you will be using it all the time if you get into any kind of dynamic web development or you start working with blogs. And it's just really generally a, a good thing to know how to do. And even some of the features within Dreamweaver, they require you to have XML documents. And anytime you need an XML document, you don't have to sit down and just write one. You can get them from places. You know, if you're looking for a particular type of data, there are a lot of places that offer. Uh, data in an XML format for you to use. So it's very useful, and uh, that is how you write a very, very simple XML document. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly hope you learned something. And please go check out the site. That's www.tutvid.com.